Hurry up and plant these bombs. You're not getting away from me this time, Snake. Gene. No one will make an exile of me! Watch, you worthless turncoats! Watch as I teach this rebel rouser a lesson! Get out, you intruders! This base is mine! It's him. Colonel Skaronsky? Damn it! Why? Why won't it move? Freeze, Gene. Kind of an anticlimactic way to end it, huh? That's your trump card? Tell your men to throw down their weapons. <laughs> trump card? You certainly put on a great sideshow, Snake. Even I didn't see Skoronsky coming. As a token of my appreciation, allow me to share with you my true trump card. What? Wake up, Ursula. Lisa. No. Ursula, don't. Snake, shoot me. Elisa, what are you talking about? Hurry, Snake. You have to shoot me before Ursula awakens. Shoot now. If you don't, I'll... I'll... Ah! I'll kill you, Snake. Kill you before you spawn your accursed snake children. <clears throat> Psychokinesis. Ursula and Elisa were originally one personality, but in the process of artificially augmenting her mental powers, they split into two. Ursula gained the greater powers at the expense of her emotions. That Metal Gear may be only an incomplete prototype. But dear Ursula, more than makes up for its shortcomings. How does it move like that? It's like it's not a machine at all. Elisa, stop!
pretty good. Thank you. 
Lisa, get out of there! Elisa, I'm sorry. He beat Metal Gear. Metal Gear, done in by a flesh and blood human being. So that's Big Boss. It's all over. Our nation will never be built. Wonderful! Only you could have destroyed Russia with Ursula at its helm. I can see now why you caught Ocelot's eye. Major Ocelot from Gru? What does he have to do with this? <laughs> I like you, Snake. You're a fascinating man. Enough! It's over, Jane. I destroyed your Metal Gear. You can't blackmail the world with nuclear attack anymore. Give it up. You're finished. You destroyed my Metal Gear? Why, Snake? Whatever do you mean? What? Ghost, this isn't a good time. Snake, it's not over. Not yet. That was not the ballistic launch Metal Gear. That was Metal Gear Russia, produced for performance evaluation. It was a test model. Test model? Sokolov, you're alive. Uh, he will... Of course. So you're the ghost. You designed the Shagahod, so naturally you'd know about Granin's Metal Gear too. That's why. Ah. Uh. So it was you who was feeding Snake information, Sokolov. Of all people, I never thought you would betray me. Yes, you did rescue me from that prison camp in Russia. Thanks to you, I was reunited with my family. For a little while, at least. I will always be grateful to you for that. But launching Metal Gear into Russia, that I cannot condone. I simply could not bear to see my own creation turned against the Motherland. And so you collaborated with Snake. Sokolov, you designed the world's first nuclear armed tank. You're a rocket scientist. You defected to the United States and participated in the development of Metal Gear. Surely you must have known that one day it would be used against the Soviet Union. That's the real Metal Gear? Yes. Russia was a decoy. Ursula bought us plenty of time. Gene, stop! Shoot me if you like, Snake. But ask yourself this. Are you worthy enough to pull the trigger? You've inherited the title of boss, yet you've never stopped to think about the future you want to see. What? Soldiers, hear my words! The Cold War will soon be over, for the United States and the Soviet Union no longer have the strength or the authority to shape the world as they see fit. Even as America sinks deeper into the quagmire of the Vietnam War, her allies in the West have achieved tremendous economic growth. And with the collapse of its planned economy, Russia can no longer keep up with the financial demands of her vast army. But the end of the Cold War does not mean that peace will follow. Freed from the domination of the world's superpowers, nationalism will soon be the driving force behind global politics. And the ever-widening gap between rich and poor will fan the flames of hatred between nations. Nuclear weapons will slip from the superpower's grasp and spread throughout the world. Soon, no one will know when or where the nukes will come from. Today's ally may be tomorrow's bitter enemy. Or worse, the time may come when soldiers of the same country will kill their brothers, just like you are now. Who of you can say that tomorrow you won't be aiming your rifles at your neighbors, your comrades, your families? Stop it, Gene. Is there no one who has a grudge against you? No one who mocks you? No one who really needs you? Is there truly no one out there who would kill you? Knock it off, Gene!
One of my men is standing amongst you right now. His instructions are to kill you for your betrayal. He's lying! Don't listen to him! <sighs> He's gonna kill us! He's going to kill us! Hey! Get a hold of yourself! Snap out of it! Your enemy is standing right beside you. Is it you? Or perhaps you? This planet is like a giant bomb. See how easily it blows itself to bits with a single nuclear warhead. Or rather, a single bullet. <laughs> there he is. It's the enemy! Who's shooting? Who's shooting? The bastard shot him! Stop, Gene! If you want them to stop, then why not stop them yourself, Snake? Metal Gear is ready to launch. I have no further need of this plant. So you kill your own men? I don't have to kill anyone. These men are quite capable of doing it themselves. Humans are fragile, foolish, violent creatures. See for yourself, Snake. See what mankind truly is. Snake, look out! Ah!